Welcome back to Check Your Vitals, our online companion to your Lenten journey this season. Pastor Jenny Sankey of Pleasant Hill Presbyterian Church. And I'm bringing us our word for this Saturday from 40 Days, 40 Prayers, 40 Words. Um, today's word is choice. And when I hear the word choice, I just can hear my mother's voice saying, make good choices as I walk out the door. I'm pretty sure she got that from a movie uh, somewhere along the way. Uh, but that is the voice I hear when I think about choice. Um, our scripture today is a little bit different than my mother's voice. And we'll be hearing from Moses here in a minute. Not God talking with Moses, but Moses talking with God. But first, let us go to God in prayer. God, when we see wrong, help us to choose right. When injustice demands silence, let me speak. When violence seeks apathy, let me act. When busyness produces chaos, let me find peace. For you guide us and you give us strength to boldly stand, speak, and act. Amen. Choices. In our scripture today, Moses is pleading with God to make a different choice. Wouldn't you think it'd be the other, what, other way around normally? God does send a lot of messages through prophets and people asking us to do better, to make good choices. Come on, people. But in this um, section, this is in Exodus, when Moses has gone up on the mountain, to receive the Ten Commandments from God, the law that will guide them into the promised land and for generations and generations. And while he was doing that, the people got nervous, people got scared, and they made an idol, a golden calf, to worship out of all the gold things that they had brought. And Moses comes down to find this and is horrified and goes back to speak with God who says he is going to just wipe these people out because God has had enough. And Moses says this, Turn from your fierce wrath, change your mind, and do not bring disaster on your people. It's a powerful thing to ask God to change God's mind, I think. Um, making good choices sounds a lot different coming from a parent to a child than from one of God's children to God. But Moses pleads with God to change God's mind. And Moses knows that what God is about is preserving life and leading and loving God's people. And Moses seems to be trying to get God to remember that and what choices God makes next. And when we pray, I think we often um, go to God asking for help with a choice we have to make, just wise discernment. Maybe we are pleading for God for an outcome, with, for something one way or the other, saying, God, choose this, choose healing, choose life. Um, I think that it's that's tough in prayer um, when we pray about choices um, because... Sometimes we don't know the full picture. We don't know what the outcome of our choices will be. We don't know what God might have in mind for our life. Um, but the hopes that, that I have for us as a community and with our vital sign of the week, empowering servant leadership, is that as leaders in this church, leaders in the Duluth community, leaders in the world as followers of Christ, that we make good choices, that we plead with one another when we see something going wrong, when we see one of our siblings in Christ doing something that doesn't honor and preserve life, that we ask for good choices, that it's not just about make good choices when you're driving on the road, but make good choices in the ways you love and learn and live together. So, as we think on the choices that we have before us this week, let us go to God in prayer with our Saturday cycle of prayer. Living God, we give you thanks and praise for the new things you are doing among us, for our common ministry in Jesus' name. Hear our joys and thanksgivings for the servant leaders among us.
Living God, by the gifts of your spirit, help us to bear witness to the risen Lord, building up the body of Christ. Living God, in the great mystery of our faith, receive us each night and revive us each day so that we might be dead to sin and alive to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. All right, friends, go out and make good choices. Hope to be with you in worship tomorrow. See you soon.